Hi Pisces, it's Elle here to do your mid-August 2018 general reading. It's a general reading. If it doesn't resonate with you, just, you know, don't force it. It's okay. Um, thank you to those who have liked, shared, comment, subscribed to the channel. Make sure you're commenting below because that automatically enters you to win a free reading with me. The readers, the winners will be announced August 15th. Uh, I'll go live and announce the winners, okay? All right, so we've got four cards for love. We've got additional card messages of advice. And we have um, another spread if this doesn't resonate with you. Okay, the bottom of the deck for love, the Ace of Air. You know what I'm feeling generally for Pisces? I'm feeling like a lot of my Piscean men were living double lives. They were found out. Someone subtracted themselves from the third party, four party, whatever situation. My Pisces man is broken up about this because there was real actual love there, but outside of an established family unit or relationship. My Piscean women are trying to get away from someone, so maybe someone older, someone like the King of Swords, the Emperor type, you know, guy, um, trying to get away from them. Um, but the money and the stability is tied up into the relationship. For some of my Piscean women, you work closely with your soon-to-be ex. Um, so it's, it's a, a situation of trying to figure out the legal and the, and the money and the assets. Um, some of my Piscean women, you like some, oh, okay, you like somebody else at work or somebody likes you or it's, it's flirtatious. I think you're already partner. You could you could not be, um, but you're really unsure about how this person feels about you. Okay. Oh, a lot of some of you for work, you really stressed. It's a heavy workload. You feel like you're not getting the help you need in the home. Ace of Swords at the bottom of the deck for love. So there's like some some truth and clarity that comes in surrounding the situation um, that makes you, you know, either you're you're um, it's like that divisive truth and it's decisive. Like you've made a decision, you have to make a decision. You have to be, you have to divide yourself or divide, you know, or move away from it's that type of truth that comes in that where you can't deny what's going on anymore i mean you could but then you look like an even bigger fool I and mean, that's up to you that's nobody's business but yours but some of you you feel like you've been taken for granted you provide so much monetarily for some person um yeah, you've been you've been taken advantage of. Okay. Seven of air, five of water, the chariot, three of fire. Some of my Piscean men are dealing with a cancer. Um, cancer Pisces Scorpio like themselves. Are there might be jealousy. There's this hesitation before making a decision, but it looks like a decision is going to come by way of some truth and clarity. Someone giving some hard and fast truth or someone finding out something to where all parties has, you know, they have to do something different here. Um, my Pisces and me could be cheating, could be flirting, could be lying, could be waiting for their ships to come in per se uh, monetarily or waiting for another person to come back. Uh, or they feel as if the other person is not being faithful is being dishonest about where they want to be in this relationship because this is hesitating before making decisions it's also jealousy it's um grieving a situation before you even done anything you know crying about it spilled milk i mean it's already over it's already m manifest in a way of this is not working but no one has actually 
gotten to a point of having that that hard talk about how it's not working. Someone's trying to devise a plan of action to move away from. Maybe sneaking around. Could be a cancer. If you're dealing with cancer, could be a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Someone is putting themselves first and putting the relationship on the back burner. Somebody wants the truth. They want clarity about what's going on. Hmm. Okay. Butterfly Oracle deck. At the bottom of the deck, we have sentimental feelings. For those who are leaving established relationships or wanting to leave, this is how you feel about the relationship. The sentiment is there. Yes, I used to be in love with this person. Yes, I used to think the world of this person, but I don't any longer. I don't particularly hate them, but um, I just want to go my own way. I think Pisces, you can see that here, Pisces is feeling that way, but not saying anything. Parental care. Take the next step now. Self-care. Motivation. Some of you are in legal battles about children. Um, you need to take the next step to become self-sufficient. Worry about yourself. So, some of you are too worried about another person because they provide a sense of stability for you. But at the same time, you have to deal with so much BS with them. This whole spirit says... You need to have the motivation to do for yourself. Someone's been doing for you for so long, or vice versa. You've been doing for someone else for so long, Pisces. Pisces. Uh, parents, maybe highlight it here. Your parents, you may have to check in on your parents. It's just, I just get the energy of somebody wanting to leave, trying to leave. Yes, it's hard, but you have to take the next step. Okay. Somebody's hiding money. Somebody's hiding something. Someone's trying to devise a plan of action. It could be a Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Pisces. They may be like trying to definitely move away, even in a physical move. Mm. Okay. So if that didn't resonate with you, we have another spread. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Page of Cups. Nice, loving, flirtatious messages. Um, not the offer, you know, of a relationship or wanting to invest emotionally, but definitely those sweet nothings. Let's see. Page of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles. Nice. Five of Swords. And two fell out here. Four of Cups. Knight of Swords. Some of you have something new started with someone else. But then here comes the old. Or the existing. They come to you. Um giving you know being confrontational about the situation about the relationship it looks as if you're not even hearing it and it and very well may be that you don't need to engage you need to really put yourself first some of you are trying to get to an air sign gemini libra aquarius you have something really solid and stable you want to offer them they were the third party or maybe you were i don't know um they, they were the opposition. They were the interference. You might even be trying to offer them. And this is another scenario. You may even be trying to offer them something. And they're just like. You completely betrayed me. You could. You know. they All they have for you are words. They're not. Really good words either. I mean they're confrontational about this. There's been hurt. There's been pain. There's been drama there's been confusion looks like the whole spread is just 
confusing emotional energy. No one is actually doing the hard work of rectifying the situation by communicating and talking. Pisces, it somebody's coming back, or yeah, someone's so for some of you, someone's coming back. You don't want it. You, they don't have a lot to offer anyhow. Um, nothing's changed. It's a temporary change. For some of my Pisces, you're trying to just ex escape, but not at the same time. It's like you're doing nothing but being emotional about the fact that you want to leave. All right, if this reading resonated with you, like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It's much appreciated. Um, all of my information is below if you want to request a personal reading. Go over to my website or send me an email. It's the best way, okay? Uh, know that I'm praying for you, Pisces. Pray for me as well. Take care. And remember, when in doubt, pray. All right? Bye, guys.